with so much focus on climate change, we really do need to look at what we are putting in our cars and how we're fueling them. Obviously, in an ideal world, everybody would be driving zero emissions cars right now, overnight. That's not practical, obviously. And while there are way more electric cars and hybrid cars and plug-in hybrids on the market than ever before, not everybody is ready to make a move. Lots of drivers in Ireland, for instance, still favour diesel. They have older diesel cars, perhaps, or they want them for towing, or they want the fuel efficiency of longer distance driving, for whatever reason. There's no doubt there are a lot of diesel cars on the road today. You can't get people to change immediately. So what do we do to reduce the carbon footprint? There finally is an alternative. It's called HVO, and that means hydro-treated vegetable oil. Skoda and Serta have joined forces to promote HVO and to, I suppose, explain the benefits of HVO in comparison to regular diesel. And Skoda has asked us to explain what it's all about. HVO, it stands for Hydro Treated Vegetable Oil, and it's exactly as that sounds. It starts with used cooking oil, it's a waste material. You put hydrogen through it at really high temperatures. Then you do an extra little chemical process to take out impurities, and what you're left with is a fuel that is chemically just like diesel. It doesn't come with the disadvantages of fossil fuel, of course. You don't have to drill it out of the ground. And CERTA claims that you get a 90% reduction in carbon emissions because of that. In terms of performance and fuel economy, there should be no difference really. Though in theory, it's possible the HVO could mean an improvement because it is more pure than fossil fuel diesel in that way. In fact, because fossil fuel diesel at the pump has impurities in it, HVO lasts longer. So it could be stored for longer, up to 10 years if it's done properly. And also it helps with cold starting for the same reason. Now in Ireland, we don't get such extremely low temperatures that diesel turns to gel, which it can in the Nordic countries. But that actually doesn't happen to HVO, which is another benefit. Availability of HVO is improving all the time. Obviously, as Skoda and Serta has asked us to do this film, you can get it at Serta stations and the number of stations it's available at will increase over time as well. Saying that, Apple Green and Circle K also stock HVO, so it's only going to improve. And how do you tell it's a HVO pump? It's quite simple. It's the one that's bright pink. Can you mix regular diesel and HVO? Simple answer is yes, you can. You do not need to wait until you empty a tank or start afresh. They're completely mixable. In terms of compatibility, HVO is a direct replacement for diesel and nothing needs to be done to the cars themselves. Saying that, you should check with the manufacturers to make sure it's approved for use. For Skodas, from mid-2021, all of their cars have been approved and actually you can check it in here it's a little badge that says XTL on it. HVO is a transition fuel. Nobody's suggesting that HVO will replace electrification, will replace zero emissions technology of the future but it is here now today allowing drivers of diesel cars to cut their carbon emissions by a significant amount.